Hey, my super beautiful, lovely, gorgeous souls. It's Lizzie the Lightworker here. So, hey guys, I'm bringing you a reading today. Another viewer request. It's going to be for a Taurus divine male and a Scorpio divine female. So, what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to get the energy of both sides of this, okay? And I can sort of sometimes tell if they're in separation or if they're heading towards a separation or they recovered maybe from one. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get sort of how, what's going on with our divine female. How's she feeling? Uh, what's her energy level? What are some things maybe she needs to work on? Maybe, you know, in the relationship or outside of the relationship. Same thing with our divine male. And then when we come down the middle, we're sort of going to see how they paired up, what their energy level was like, maybe some things they need to work on or heal, um, pull messages out. And guys, you know what? I do channel energy, so sometimes I just talk quickly and things come in quickly so bear with me if I go a little off on something or um, it's all for the good it's all for what you need to hear okay and this is general guys so just keep that in mind it's going to resonate with who needs it most and whoever you know doesn't resonate just toss it out if you'd like a private reading I will leave a link in the description box of this video please like and subscribe okay so here we go so our divine female Scorpio what is going on with her so, okay, right off the bat, I'm feeling like, I don't know if she just was running away from things with the Seven of Swords. To me, if that's not cheating, then that's, to me, that's somebody who can't face things or that's running away from things or has a hard time facing things. Or they hide things um, that they don't want other people to know about them. Like sometimes they feel ashamed of something or they're fearful of something, so they hide it. They sort of bury it. They bury it down deep, okay? And, um, you know, sometimes it could be like not something as easy or simple as not taking care of yourself or not going to the doctor when you were supposed to go and you lie and say, yeah, yeah, I went, if that makes any sense. Okay. I feel like she is definitely going through some type of transition or change. I don't even know if she was sick or had some type of illness, um, whether it be physical or mental, but I'm getting a sense of rest here. Like she definitely is in a period of inactivity. Okay. I don't know if the split from her twin was painful and that has left her now sort of feeling like she needs to mend and she needs to sort of be in bed and cry it out and all those things, but just be careful of not staying in bed days on end. And it's a se severe depression. Do you know what I'm trying to say? If that's the case that I would suggest, you know, of course I have to tell you, it's only ethical of me to say, you know, try to get some resolution for that or some help with a, a you know a, a counselor or something like that but I don't know too if he cheated okay we're gonna find out we'll get some more cards out that could be possible and it could have ended okay and it could have put her in a depression but yeah I want to see um you know what's going on with him yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like he, yes, that could have definitely happened here, okay? And if he didn't cheat, then maybe he was thinking about it or he was talking to somebody else or you know how sometimes people have mental affairs, like that's still cheating, okay? Texting, sexting, all that bullshit is still cheating. I feel like that might have happened here a little bit, okay? I'm getting the moon card. To me, that is somebody who's hiding things, somebody who has secrets, somebody who is not revealing a lot about themselves yet or they're keeping things... Uh, on the DL you know what I mean it's like also too to me it's like not being able to tame your wild side okay but you appear one way and really you're this other way okay um, I feel like he's got a little bit of a temper here okay I feel like he just rushes into an argument rush this rushing into battle I don't even know I have a sort of a direction why but I'm just gonna go and start slaying people down that's to me that's what that says that card Okay, I know I'm getting crazy here, but yes, here's the thing. He's got a little bit of a temper. I feel like if she was like, what's going on with you? Like, I feel like, you know, you might be up to something or maybe she got some information or she heard something or she's seen something in his phone or whatever. He's going to like be on the defense immediately. Like, what? What the? Ah? And go crazy. Okay. Crazy to defend himself and also wants to be heard no matter what. I feel like he will try to shut her up right away and hear it. Nope. I, how dare you accuse me? Okay. I feel like that is the problem with these two cards. He's hiding something and defensive about it. Okay. Um, and I'm just feeling like 
she was a little bit on to him okay but it wasn't clear it's sort of like mental confusion and mental fog it was like she almost thought she was going crazy okay and he's like putting on this little secret life secretive little life okay where the moon here it's almost like in cycles i feel like this relationship would be good when it was good almost like going through cycles like now it's getting bad now it's getting worse now it's a like, boom big fight now okay we're okay again i believe him he said he didn't cheat okay goes around again boom you know what i'm saying guys i feel like it was in cycles okay and i also feel like there was times where what she wanted to know was not the time for her to know Okay, but I feel like, yeah, a, a little bit of this energy here where he was shady, everything was confusing, he was keeping it that way on purpose. He wanted her to be all effed up in the head over this. It was making it easier for himself to keep doing what he was doing, okay? And then I feel like he just he just took off. He either took off or he had his own agenda. Um, he feels like he was entitled to have this little side relationship possibly on the side. And... Um, you know, he needs to work on, like, balance and his ego and, like, all his insecurities and all that bullshit because nobody's going to want somebody like this that's in this type of energy, okay? So even if he did cheat and was cheating and still is or whatever the hell he's doing, the next person's going to find out the same way. It's going to be the same thing, okay? Somebody like that never changes, okay? I feel like they need to have this validation. They need to be like this hot, sexy guy and that all the attention's on them. And when they don't feel hot and sexy or they don't feel like they're top priority or top dog to somebody, they're going to go looking. And that's a serious insecurity issue. I feel like with her, this is more depression type thing, okay? Or I just feel like she's going through a transformation. To me, this might be she's getting into her um, spirituality she's coming into her spirituality she might be going through a dark night of the soul okay where she's having these realizations about opening up opening up spiritually and opening those doors okay i feel like she might be coming into some gifts some psychic gifts okay very very possible so let's see what's going on yeah i'm feeling like he was not ready for a committed relationship to me this is i want to go play the field i have to go play the field i gotta go do what i gotta go do i'm gonna date multiple people you can't stop me. I just got to I've just got to go do me, okay? And also immature and also younger, okay? I'm picking up on a younger energy and also somebody that has to sort of learn by doing. They have to go make 50,000 mistakes in order for them to get it through their thick head about life and about love, okay? So if that's the case and our divine female was with somebody younger here, that's part of it too. Can't be with somebody younger. Okay, maturity level sometimes is there. To me, the fool is, a, is a, not a mature energy, okay? It's somebody that wants to just sort of keep going. They don't want to be tied down. They're a free spirit. They're going where the breeze takes them, okay? They're, maybe they're a student or they're working on themselves in school or they're uh, no, uh, new at a job or something. It's just all about life right now, living and learning through experience and doing, sort of traveling, sort of doing all those things for themselves. But to me, when this comes up about love, it is absolutely, it could be yes, a new beginning, but to me, the cards I'm seeing here is no, this is somebody who wants to be a free, free soul, free agent. To me, this whole relationship was about balance. The key here was about patience and balance. I feel like sometimes we take people back that cheated and that's t completely up to you. If they have grown as a person, that's okay. You have to see proof that they've grown, okay? You gotta see, are they different? Are they, like, how do they act? All those things, right? To me, this relationship was a lot of work. It was sort of like an opposites attract thing. It took a lot for this to sort of be balanced here. And I don't feel like it was the right time. I feel like the timing was slightly off here, okay? But I mean, anything to learn here, I'm kind of feeling like learn balance in both of your lives. Um, let's get another card because I feel like, yeah, it, it has to do with sort of building castles in the sky, delusions, fantasy type things that you want to see out of a relationship so all this is really saying is get in touch with reality be about reality when it comes to making decisions about relationships and meeting people i feel like this whole relationship this is exactly how our divine female felt she was confused she it, i feel like she's being gaslit like the way narcissists use a tactic to make somebody think they're crazy i feel like she was just like her head was a million places 
she was trying to think where is he what's what's he doing now who's he with like it was just so such a whirlwind for her to try to focus and I feel like for him as well he just can't pick what he wants to do he can't just pick one person to say oh I'm gonna settle down and I, I'm gonna be good and okay and this is what I want his energy is all over the place okay this is also about reevaluating reevaluating what you want about in your own lives and in a relationship okay yeah, and it's it's a time to be sort of logical. I feel like this is sort of her. She knows what she wants more than he knows what he wants. And she's got that logical sort of take no shit attitude. I feel like she'll be coming into that. If she has not already, she needs to get this energy. Like, I'm not going to take any shit. I feel like he will come back and try to communicate with her. I absolutely think he's thinking about her, but he's in a negative sort of like egotistical energy. Okay. So if he does it, it's going to be ego, purely ego. It's not going to be real. It's going to be for his own ego to feed his own self. She has to be very strong, be a bitter bitch, Please do this for yourself. Do not take any shit. Don't listen to any bullshit and let don't get back into this. Please. I'm telling you, keep that energy where you're like, no, I gotta do me. This has to be about me. This is what I want. This is how I feel. Um, so I'm gonna pull one of these. Compassion. Okay. So this is something that the relationship could have lacked, definitely, because the way he was treating her and I feel like he put her down okay he made her feel really not wanted sort of low she took it really really deep on a deep deep level to a real personal level here okay I feel like the relationship lacked this compassion okay I also feel like this is saying you have to have compassion for people in general and yourselves Okay, so he needs to learn that more than anything. Okay, how to be compassionate, loving, all those real major life lessons about love have not hit him. I feel like he's just in this very low sort of immature sort of young soul, maybe a new soul energy. And I feel like she's a lot more mature and just I feel this just depressed okay so yes compassion for yourself compassion for what you're going through what you've experienced here okay and this to me looks like this was pretty painful and a lot of a headache a real lot of headache a lot of headache a lot of crazy uh energy okay so you don't beat yourself up about this this needed to be this needed to happen but you have to sort of face things like um sort of face them in a way where you just have realizations okay where you're not blaming yourself or you're not down on yourself don't allow this to make you not shine don't let anybody dim your shine okay um and he's just got a lot of work to do okay so at this time i'm just saying like this needed to happen all right guys so let me know what you think about this video and thank you for your request. This has been Lizzie the Lightworker.